So now we're in Diablo 3, and we're running at 1366 by 768 resolution. We tried 1080p, and we had about 25 FIPS. And uh, also things are kind of teeny to look at, to be honest. You're going to play on the internal panel. So now you can see we're at 136 by 768. Not doing too much, but in a rich environment, we're at 52 FIPS or so. It'll drop to 47, 48 when we interact or uh, kill some zombies, something like that. If you want to see the full set of settings that we're using, Running at full screen, resolution you already know, we've got texture quality to high, sh shadow quality is at medium, physics is high, clutter display is medium, and we have anti-aliasing and low effects turned off. So as we move around and interact. That'll drop the tips a little bit, temporarily. It's still very, very playable in the upper 40s. Game plays smoothly. As always, the, the Vio Z speakers are not super duper loud, so what you're hearing is basically what you get. We're about two-thirds of the way up for volume, and you can hear the fan running. Uh, we've been playing the game for a while. CPU temps are around 61 to 66 degrees centigrade. That's not too bad, and the fan noise is certainly audible, but it is with pretty much any gaming notebook. It's bearable, though. Lots of undead action here. Fips are holding up just fine. This is killing business. The dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. I will make certain that doesn't happen. Your town is safe. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. So we held up at about 29 to 30 fifths, even with a fairly busy battle, so it's pretty darn good at 1366 by 768 with fairly good quality settings. That's Diablo 3 on the Sony Vio Z 2012 3rd Edition. And we're running this with Intel HD 4000 integrated graphics. We are not using the external portable media dock to play this. With the portable media dock and AMD Radeon graphics, of course, things could get even better. And now we're going to test out Skyrim on the third generation Sony Vio Z 2012 model with the Core i7 and Intel HD 4000 integrated graphics. We're not using the external portable media dock again, so we're just relying on internal graphics. And you can see our settings here. We're, we're running at 1920 by 1080, so full 1080p. And we have anti-aliasing and anti-strapic filtering off, and that will be a good idea to keep off if you want good performance. And you can see our texture quality is medium, radial blur quality is low, the shadow detail is low, decal quality is none. And our view distance is fairly short. Nonetheless, the game looks really nice. All right, now we're in Skyrim in the middle of a hot and heavy battle. And you can see that we've got mid-30s for FIPS, and this is at full 1080p resolution. Very nice. Oop, now we're dipping down into the upper 20s occasionally, in the heat of the battle. Still very playable, though. And back up into the mid-30s. And again, for those of you who like really high FIPS, drop it down from 1920 by 1080 to something lower, like uh, 1600 by 900 to see an improvement in the FIPS. Or even GASP, 1366 by 768. 
And personally, I think this is pretty playable. And now we're going to test out Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And that's uh, pretty cruel. This is a very challenging game. Right now we're going to do it at full 1080p, 1920 by 1080, full screen. And we've left it at all the defaults, which are pretty aggressive. We've dropped down image quality to normal, and we've turned off specular map so that we could get a more playable frame rate somewhere near 30 fifths at 1080p. And we're going to see how that looks now. So you can see we're in the upper 20s. Looks nice enough. I know some of you would probably like a little higher fips. Fips are much higher when you're viewing through your scope. And now we're at 1600 by 900 resolution. You can see we've got mid to upper 30s, fifths, sometimes in the 40s when we're looking through our scope. So that's definitely more playable. Okay, now you can see right here we're dropping down into the 20s real quick, but then bouncing back up to the 60s for fifths. So overall, this I'd say 1600 by 900 is a great resolution for playing this at good frame rates. Again, on Intel HD 4000 integrated graphics. Core i7 2.1 GHz as a full mobile CPU on the Sony Vio Zoom.